if you're new to me or my channel let me give you a little glimpse of my garden <laughs> This summer I've just left my garden to go wild and I absolutely love it. You won't find any perfection in my garden. I mean, it is what it is kind of gardener. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is another super special video. This video is part of my social media takeover of the Lancashire Wildlife Trust. In this video, we're going to take a deeper dive into some of the wildlife that I have on my balcony garden. One of the favourite parts of my balcony garden is my balcony pond. And one of the reasons why I made it is because I was hoping to see some aquatic wildlife. And one of the ones I was hoping to attract were hoverfly larvae. My number one pollinator on my balcony garden are hoverflies. So I thought I would create a really great environment for them to breed. I learned one or two things along the way. But I may have done all of this for no reason. <laughs> Let's get into it. I love heading out onto my balcony and watching the hoverflies. They're like mini helicopters darting all over the place. Most adult hoverflies are pollinators. They'll eat nectar, honeydew and pollen. There are around about 270 species in the UK. It can be a couple of millimetres to two centimetres long. What makes them remarkable is their colouring. They've evolved mimicry, so they mirror the colours of wasps and bees. These colours are instant warnings to other animals to stay clear, but they are just flies and they cannot sting or bite at all. As you can see, my hoverflies love my French marigolds. I love how they shake their bottoms when they're feeding. Every morning I check my French marigolds for the hoverflies. I began to see these caterpillar-like creatures on some of my flowers. But what I didn't expect to see was this. That innocent looking caterpillar is not a caterpillar at all. In fact, it is the hoverfly larvae, feasting on aphids. They are blind and have to use their keen sense of smell to sniff out their prey. Once they catch them, they suck out all of their juices. Sometimes aphids can be fiercely protected by ants. The ants will farm them for honeydew. If you look carefully, this guy's attached some skins of his prey. By doing this, he's going to have taken over the smells of the aphid colony. He's making himself his own Harry Potter invisibility cloak. The ants won't be able to detect him at all, and he can carry on feasting whilst the ants are around. The females will lay an egg near an aphid colony. They have several larval stages, and then they pupate. Adult hoverflies, on average, live for about 12 days, and then the cycle starts again. What's fascinating to me is with the hoverflies, I get to see their full life cycle on my balcony. That means that they don't even leave my balcony. I hope that you've learned something new today. If you have, don't forget to give this video a like, feel free to come and check out my YouTube channel and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye!